Welcome back to a new video and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you are all feeling good and that you had an awesome weekend. Um, today we are driving Mr. Zero, uh, my favorite Volvo. Um, this is the one with the double clutch. Um, but anyways, the guys that I got the truck from, um, they had some issues with their parking brake. Uh, so the brake has probably been on while they have been driving. Uh, so the wheels are really, really warm in the back. Uh, so the first thing we have to do now on the morning is to go to a workshop uh, and that workshop is probably one and a half hours away um, so we really have to stop a few times and feel on the wheels so they don't get overheated and uh, I think it was like three hours ago they parked the wagon uh, and the wheels are still warm um, so it's probably very bad and the smell out of burnt brakes it smells in the whole wagon so that's not so good and uh, so the first thing we're going to do we're going to get to the workshop and we're gonna have to stop so we don't overheat the wheels and so that the wagon doesn't caught on fire and um, so yeah that's what we're going to do now we're going to start driving up to the workshop just made a quick stop here uh, I'm going to stop a few times along the road just to be able to feel on the wheels so they don't get too warm uh, because we really don't want the wheels to overheat while there are some issues with the brakes and um, so we're going to go out and we're going to feel on the wheels uh, we're starting with the wheels here with the front um, but these are not the problem wheels but it's always good to feel on each and every wheel while we are stopping uh, so nothing else happens along the road while we are driving. Um, so yeah, we are going to, these are the problem wheels, so we are going to check them out. Uh, and these are the axles that are for the parking brake to the wagon. And you can already feel the really bad smell out of burnt like brake pads. And uh, this one, oh, this one is actually very warm. And so we really have to keep an eye on this wheel so nothing so nothing happens with it. And we have this one. Uh, this one is also very warm. Uh, it's not as bad as the first one, but this is definitely it's definitely something wrong. And we go into the other side. Mm. Oh it's not bad. Um, this one feels a little better. It's still too warm to be normal, but it's it's working and we have this one uh, that wheel and the wheel there on the other side these are the two ones that are the worst uh, i'm going to stop on uh, on a few yeah on a few places and make sure that nothing happens and that it doesn't get overheated yeah we're just gonna have to hope that we can make it all the way to the workshop without the brakes kind of like once decides to just stop so we're gonna get going and the weather doesn't make it better because it's like 25 degrees it's outside already. So it's a very warm day with very warm wheels.
So we are going out again and see how the wheels feels. The problem wheels. Not boiling, but it's warm. It's a very, very warm. driving around for a little bit and uh, I still have issues with two of the axles uh, we were at the first workshop when they changed the brake valve on the brakes on the wagon uh, but I still had some issues with two axles that are getting a little bit too warm uh, so I'm going to visit another workshop here uh, and I just called my boss and he said that maybe we could plug two of the axles and make them brake less do you say that they're going to cut the air to the to the two of the axles uh, just to be able to get home with the wagon um, so that's probably what we're going to do and uh, even though we was at the first workshop and hopeful hope that uh, that was the issue uh, they still made sure that the parking brake works but it's always important to keep an eye on whatever you are fixing so nothing else worse happens uh, in this case, my axes are still too warm, uh, so we're going to go to the workshop and we're going to fix it and hopefully we will get our wagon home in one piece and uh, yeah, on Monday this poor little wagon is going to the workshop for a real service and uh, yeah, we're just going to get to the next workshop and uh, hopefully they will fix their problem. right now and I guess that the guys plugged the wrong hole and I got a really nice black line under my wagon uh, so something was wrong with the plugging on the axles and uh, they're going to go out here and fix it so I'm going to leave this over for the boys and then we're going to get to our loading place we're going to load and then we can get home <laughs> we're going to get out of here oh. My axles are fixed, uh, so this feels good. Uh, we're going to go to my last loading place and uh, yeah, then we can start heading home. Uh, I'm maybe like one or two hours late. Uh, it may be a little bit longer because I'm going to stop on the way home and make sure that the wheels aren't too warm, just to yeah, make sure that nothing else happens and that the wagon doesn't cut on fire or something. It's starting to feel a little bit better on the axles, but it's good to be a little bit cautious about that. We're just going to go and load the wagon up with our last stuff and then we can start roll home and end our day. It's going to be so nice.
I'm just so hungry right now. I haven't been eating my lunch yet and it's it's four o'clock already. Late lunch. We have the microwaves at different places in our in our trucks. I hope this one works. So this is a converter that we use to be able to start our microwave and it doesn't work in one of our trucks but today I will get my food. just going to throw myself my lunch in and then we can start rolling uh, we are a bit late we are maybe like one or two hours late home but uh, it may be later because I'm going to stop a few times and feel the wheels and uh, so I'm just going to eat my lunch and it's so warm in here because if you see here uh, the fan ain't working I have it on the lowest but the fan is broken and um, so it's super warm <laughs> so I'm gonna have to roll my window down and then you won't be able to hear me so well um, so I'm just going to eat my food and then we can start roll home. I am stopping here just to check the, the wheels so they aren't warm. It's a little rest stop. side first so the guy in the truck can pee by himself he has toilets there even though he's peeing just outside this truck view I can still touch it but it's very warm and it smells you know the smell of brakes this one is warm too These ones are okay, it's the ones in the back that is too warm. for you guys who are playing the uh, Euro Truck Simulator um, do you also get like faults like this? Uh, I haven't tried, you see the faults there uh, I haven't tried the Euro Truck Simulator um, so I was just wondering if you get faults like this and if you have to fix them and how do you fix them if you have to? do you have to go to like workshops or stuff? I like to have my window down when I'm backing into the dark just because in case I'm driving over someone I can hear them scream before they die no I'm just kidding just to make sure that I don't hurt anyone when I'm backing up Now we're parked, so we're going to turn this off, put my glasses on, and we're going to start unloading everything. Perfect, just in line. It's soft to shadows, awesome. 
elegantly colors the silence. favorite park lift um, we are only going to unload the wagon uh, and then we are free to go home and uh, it's going to be nice to get home after this day um, it's going to be nice to get home and get a shower uh, I'm dirty after touching all of the wheels all day um, but it was for a good thing so <laughs> I think I'm excused um, so yeah we're going to start unloading and uh, then we can go home Finally done. Uh, so this turned out to be um, just almost a 15 hour shift but I'm home, I have parked my truck and it feels good actually. <laughs> uh, the axles are still a little bit warm but uh, on Monday the wagon is going into a workshop and getting a little bit of a service. <laughs> Maybe I do too because my nails are so bad. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys like this video, uh, me myself, I really like this video just because uh, I get to learn something, I think it's very interesting to see when stuff breaks and that you can repair it, I really love to to learn new stuff, so it was a good video for me, um, so don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment down here if you want to ask me something or if you want to know anything else. Um, so have an awesome time guys, be safe and I will see you in the next video. Good night!